what is going on everybody one piece 471 um had some cool moments had some typical one piece moments <laughs> last episode as well um had a quick warlord square off showdown that was only lasted about 30 seconds but it was cool for what we got with the jimbe and the mihawk um, I don't know if their power difference is truly that much that Jimbe just gets one tapped every time or I don't know what we kind of like <clears throat> what we gained from that it was the same thing with like the Moria thing it was like is Jimbe that much stronger than him and he just one taps him and moves on um, and it's the same thing here it's like is Mihawk that much stronger that he just one taps and moves on I have absolutely no idea um, Boa doing her nonsense, actually squaring off against Smoker, like, so I'm very curious how that storyline goes when the dust settles of all this, if she'll still have that title of Warlord when it's all said and done. Um, still waiting for Whitebeard to show me something, man. I just refuse to believe is essentially King of the Pirates, whatever, or King of the Seas, if you don't want to give him that title. That, like, we have no strategic play here other than just keep bashing our heads on the front door hoping that it breaks down. <laughs> I hope there's some other plan. And then we see that the Marines and the Navy have put their plan in place. Um, I'm assuming this is the plan that they've been talking about for the last handful of episodes. They've got these army of Kumas out here. I don't know if we got an exact head count. But, I mean, just from the scan that we saw, I mean, at least 20, 30 or more. Um, now again, I'm assuming Kuma, the original Kuma, which I think is the one that's fighting Ivanka, he has no direct control over any of them. I'm assuming him and the pacifistas, or whatever you want to label them as, they're all being like centrally controlled, I would assume, and he has no say even over himself. Um, or are they just like, are they just inputting and given one single command and just let out on their way? Or can they be sent commands to change directives kind of as they might see certain situations fit? Like, is there someone back there with a joystick and they see like, oh, that's a bigger priority. Let me give them a different command to go get that. Or is it kind of just like once you hit enter and send, they just have like one strict mindset and they stay on that, whatever that task is. Who knows if we'll ever get the breakdown on any of that, at least here, maybe in the future. Who knows? But let's um, let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, it's muted, it's muted. Here we go. They were talking about cutting the feed, too, by the way. Fleet Admiral. Mm-hmm. Yep. Remember how those new supernovas or the new wave got dotted so quickly? <laughs> and it wasn't even by a real Kuma, by the way. Shit. We did too. <clears throat> oh, lordy. Here we go, though. Let's see what we got. I'm assuming the one that always carries the Bible is, is that the one that just defaults as like, oh... This is what's known as the real one. I would assume, like, that's the, like, oh, which one's got the Bible? Okay, that's the real one. <clears throat> Unless I see that all of them have Bibles on them as well, then maybe not. That's gotta be Luffy's voice actor of that guy, the nephew. Has to be. Are you guys worth anything? Uh-huh, and then you rushed in and they wanted to close you in. <coughs> Correct. You're figuring it out, you got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You still gotta deal with it though. Might not be trapped, but they still are here on your front door. So what's the play? 
They could literally chop his head off right now, by the way. <laughs> what are they waiting for? Like they're, they're, honestly, there's no reason to wait. Yeah, we scheduled a time, but who cares? They could just do it now, and there's nothing they could do about it. They could have done it five minutes ago. Here we go. Alright. Autobots. Do we, can we get a, can I get an overhead view? I'm trying to, oh, okay. Here goes the first casualty. He really thought he was him too, by the way. He really truly thought he was him. He thought he was the main character. Back up, immediately back up, back up. Key blast incoming. Zigzag, dead. D E A D dead. And bro, he just ran up to them like that. What was he expecting? Give me a. Can I get an overhead shot here? What we got? Oh shit! All at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. White beard. I don't know, man. It's not looking too good. Oh, shit, and they're taking flight? Oh shit, welcome aboard. Oh god. Ah, uh, yeah. This is just turning into a slaughter. We're losing numbers, man. We're just getting slaughtered. What's the play, man? We're gonna make a move? Same thing, keep charging. We're not making up any ground, though. If anything, we're just losing forces. Ay, ay, ay. Are you though? Will you though? At this point I need Wiper to just say screw this and just quake the whole thing. Quake the whole thing. Screw them, screw your guys, screw all of it. Um Take your chances and even create even more chaos. I'd quake all the way up to Ace's Tower. See how they fall, and sit, see if we can grab him. Say good luck. At this point, see if Marco or whatever his name is can fly up there. Hey, everybody off the ice! Everybody off the ice! What's the play here now? Yo, that 5th Division leader's throwing. I don't know if Mihawk's not trying. Or this guy's actually got some juice. But he's... I can't tell. Let me, let me not praise him too much. Let me not praise him too much. Let me see. Before he gets one-tapped. Are the flowers just for our effect, or does everybody see them? He deflected that. And to my knowledge, no Devil's Fruit was needed for that. Dude's got some skill. Is he stronger than Zoro, you think? Has to be. Has to be. At this point in the story. Just from a pure swordsman technique. Maybe not technique versus from a swordsman skill. I don't think Zoro's doing this right now with Mihawk. I don't think he is. And Zoro's, I'm the number one Zoro fan, I just don't think he is. Right, so they've got roughly 20 to 30, 40-ish.
Clearly, you basic weapon users need to evacuate immediately. Anybody with the area of effect Devil's Fruit, can you just not go swoop in and handle these guys real quick? Anybody. We don't have... Oh, they cut the feed, they cut the feed, they cut the feed, they cut the feed. Oh, there's still a camera up. Whose camera is that? Did they leave that one shot up? I guess to show the execution. I don't know if Buggy got his hands on something or what. Did we ever, did we still not get confirmation who opened the gate for us, by the way? Or no? I don't think we ever did. All right, Goku, let's see. Let's see what you got. All right, who's gonna step in Luffy's way now? The thing is, there's still two other admirals that aren't even doing anything at the moment. Oh, sh speaking of the devil, oh my God. There's two admirals that still aren't even doing anything. He's getting PTSD flashbacks. Last time he was here, we lost the whole crew. Oh, is Jimbe gonna say, go ahead, I'll handle this for the third time for Luffy? Took Moria for him, took Mihawk for him, and gonna take Kazaru for him too? Oh, God, Jimbe is literally the only reason we're even getting to continue going on. And I think he's starting to meet his matches here too. Who? Rando. The commanders. So these are all of his commanders. Um, minus Ace, clearly. And the other two, the one that's currently with Mihawk and the one that's... Uh, it, I was, is it Bruno or Marco? I always get his the one that's the Rise of the Phoenix. Um, I think those are the only two that aren't going to be in this group, correct? Also, I'm pretty disappointed we don't get a uh, we don't get a Fishman uh, fucking cavalry call here. That's crazy. I guess Moria didn't get shitted on that bad. I don't know. Same way Jimbei popped right back up. I guess Moria pops right back up. Who knows? Eh. They both die? That's probably the worst case scenario. You use Ace and Whitebeard. What is his sword, by the way? Yeah, because he's got to get the fuck out of there. Don't they got to clear the bay anyway? Smoker, I don't think you can handle this, like, at all. He does not want that boa smoke, like, no pun intended. So where does Boa go now? Does she like fall back with the other warlords? Does she run to Whitebeard? Like what do we... What's the play here, girl? Goku's getting impatient. Oh! They have their hands on it! That's the one that uh, Buggy has. They found it? I thought they had their hands on like just one randomly. They found that specific.
Where are you getting the film equipment from, by the way? Where are you getting the film equipment? <laughs> Why do they have lighting and reflective and cameras? Somebody has their hands on it. I didn't. I thought they just happened to get one. Like they had an extra one. Like, no, they have theirs. Who stumbled upon that shit? Eh? Is he okay? Thought we wanted this. Why is he freaking out? Again, give him buggy screen time. They have a whole film crew out there in the middle of the ice, by the way. Where are they getting the makeup and everything from? Who knows? I hate how long they're letting this go on for. <laughs> I truly do. I'm about to say, just light their asses up. You don't have to go down there by hand and ask them for the camera back. Literally, just shoot. Literally, load cannons in their directions. Oh my god. That's how I feel. I'm those viewers. Those guys wanting to get back to the war and everything. That's me. That's me. Nobody wants to see that shit. Is somebody going to deal with this or what? This might have to be a white beard thing. Alright, good luck. We're running out of bodies. That Kuma force is wiping us out. Somebody behind us or what's happening? No, no, there is, there is somebody behind us. Have we? Seen this guy before? We have, we have, we have. This seems very sketch. This seems very sketch, this dude just walking up here like this. Bro, please face him directly, please. I think this dude's realizing how bad it's getting, and if they continue, they're all going to get wiped out. I think he's going to try to make a move right here. He's gonna try to make a move and save his life and dip. He's like, it's Whitebeard's dead. We don't have to listen to any commands and I can save my life and just run. <sighs> I don't like this dude behind us right now. Yeah. He thinks it's gone too far. But this is too much. I don't like this. Oh, 
Please keep your head up and open your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. We were also part of your family. Yeah. Hello? We didn't get taken up by a random cannonball, clearly. And that pierced us. This is a mess, by the way. An absolute mess. This is just a mess. Oh, God. I don't blame him. Um, But I he didn't have to take it that far. I don't blame his, I guess, reaction to, like, uh, yeah, that was fishy as hell. If they would have, because the dude didn't even, like, report in, because they showed us a shot from behind Whitebeard. I'm like, okay, anybody that's come to talk to him or has anything to report, as soon as they, like, are they're, like, they're yelling his name, reporting, this dude just, like, creepily walks up there. Um, I get what he's saying, but why not just leave then? I guess. I guess because maybe what if there's a chance that Whitebeard some what if there's a chance that you leave and somehow Whitebeard wins and then I guess finds out that you left then I guess you're gonna be hunted. I, I don't I don't know if he I don't know what the, what deserters like what the, what's the what's the rules for deserters here if like you didn't answer Whitebeard's call here right or you get to a point like this guy where like we're getting slaughtered out there. I'm out. And say Whitebeard wins, like, does he hunt you down now until the end of time and kills your family's family's family? <laughs> or, like, you just don't roll with Whitebeard anymore? I, I don't know how that goes or what the specifics would be on any of that. Um, but I'm assuming the guy is kind of what I was thinking of. He's over here. We're all here for you. We know you won't let any of your family members die. Like, you always go for them. That's the kind of guy you are. That's why we're here. But... You're showing this like loyalty and passion to Ace, right? And we're being used as like the meat shield to accomplish this goal. And it would look a little bit, and I could like, I could ride with it for a while if it looked like we were like, this was like a blow for blow. It's like the Navy makes a blow, then we swing back and make a blow. They make a blow, we swing right back. And it's literally like tit for tat, tit for tat, like pop, pop, pop. But they're just getting punched and punched and punched and like the people that ride with whitebeard's crew on a daily the division commanders and all the the other parts of the crew that have interacted with ace you know they're down to ride like that is their guy but these other guys are just like answer whitebeard's call when he comes calling um they don't interact with him like that or ace or have that like deep like he said, I wish we were part of your family because maybe he would care for them a little bit more as opposed to just sending us out to slaughter, which is what it's felt like with me. And again, that's war. And everybody that answered that call knows what you're getting into. Like it wasn't going to be easy. This was going to be hell. But I feel like you get to a certain point of like, we're making up no ground. My men are being slaughtered. Everyone's being slaughtered. And like, what's the play here? Now, personally, me, I just would have like deuced out. I guess he's thinking of, I guess if Whitebeard goes down, nobody will hunt me down for being a deserter. Shit, maybe even the military will reward me. <laughs> Who knows? But I just assume that he's over it. Um, they're getting pushed back. They're clearly losing. Um, and he feels like it ain't worth all that. Now, our man is clearly stabbed here. Not, not just like nicked. Like he has a blade going like through the middle of his chest cavity or lower abdomen or upper abdomen and that's just like angling like back out and through through a lung Psh, it could be through a heart who knows um and it's so interesting to me of like i don't know because again i don't know much about hockey and like what it's able to do 
and like would I expect someone of Whitebeard's caliber just like his body and strength to be able to maybe should that blade even be able to pierce him as just a regular person I guess so but could you have hockey again I don't know how hockey works like if you had it on and activated would a blade even be able to like pierce you would it just like crinkle on command as soon as it makes contact again i don't know i don't know the specifics on that but now this man's beat up and has an injury well i'm assuming it's an injury now maybe that blade pulls back out and we see him like self-heal or maybe it's an illusion i don't know regardless we're getting boxed in we're getting attacked from the front and the back even though he says it Whitebeard made a comment saying it's good that we're getting attacked from the front and the back who knows uh we were already losing we were losing before we got semi boxed in from the rear. So now we're losing from the front, which we were. Now we're getting boxed in and losing numbers in the back. And it's slowly just like suffocating us out. Now they're falling back and clearing the area. So who knows what they're about to just shoot the whole place with. Um, and we're getting wiped out. And now we've got people turning on us as well. And we've sustained an injury. I don't know, man. <laughs> I brought this up, I guess, well before, I think before even Impel Down started. Um, I think before even Luffy, Luffy in the story got information about Ace's capture and scheduled execution. Because I think we were panning to Goku like in and out of like Thriller Bark and in and out of the Archipelago arc and in and out of Impel Down. And we saw them like preparing for Whitebeard and it's going to be all out war with Whitebeard. And they had been talking about that for 20, 30, 50 plus episodes. And I raised the question of like, I get the name. And I get that he's that and all. Um, and the people he can call to, to rally under his banner. But like, how does he compete? How? It's it's so hard to like siege something in general. Um, maybe it'd be different if they were just out. We weren't trying to like beat down a door or break into a, a safe essentially and get something. So they have no problem just post like they're prepared, just posted up on defense, just spraying and spraying and spraying. I didn't think Whitebeard had enough even beforehand. Before I knew what his first in command could turn into with his phoenix devil's fruit and he's got the diamond one over here and a swordsman that seems to almost be even with mihawk as crazy as that sounds to say a random character is just as strong as quote unquote the strongest swordsman in the world wow he's got all this in his back pocket and i didn't even know all that and i didn't think Whitebeard would have enough to compete with just like everything they have and it's looked like that on screen there hasn't been one moment during this entire like showdown that I felt White Beard's crew had the upper hand and could win or could do anything to actually make a difference. The only time I felt like that was when Orz Jr. was on the scene. I feel like that would just be a huge just... That's just not... I don't even know what the term is. It's not just like a thorn in their side. Like, that is a huge thing to deal with. I felt like he should have, be, he should have been fought around, planned around... Yes, he went rogue, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that was the only time when he hit the scene. I was like, oh, this could be used to attack off of, to defend off of. Um, and he showed up and he was dusted. So I haven't felt confident in them succeeding really at any point before this started, when it was w rumored that they would have a war. I just didn't see how he could, how, how he would have enough. Um, and it's proven to be that. Um who because i feel like there's one of two options right now right either there's going to be forces or people that show up for white beard side you know i've been talking about fishman jimbei's over here willing to throw away his warlord title and he was supposedly one of the most loyal warlords and yes man there is he threw all that away for what white beard has done for fishman um and is loyal to white beard because of that and we don't have one single representation of a fish man here other than Jimbei is mind-blowing to me, actually. It's actually crazy. Um, 
But unless there's some outside forces that we've yet to see show up to Whitebeard's cause, an army of fishmen, a couple other Devil's Fruit users or hockey users that they just haven't shown us yet or that have yet to show up or running late, or I want to say, or Whitebeard decides to like get serious and go crazy, but I don't even think he can do it. Again, I don't think he can. <laughs> I just think it's too much. I think it's absolutely too much. Like, I don't know where that, and like, I don't know what Luffy's capable of right now in the story, like where you guys are current timeline. I think I saw what the episodes were up over 1100 episodes. And this might be blasphemous to say. Uh, maybe it is. Um, but could even, again, this could be blasphemous to say, I don't know what wonders you can unlock when you master conquerors hockey absolutely no idea and what his devil what gear he might be on by the time i get to the, <laughs> the, the thousands he might be on gear 78 i have no idea or maybe he's perfected gear two gear three into one hybrid thing gear four i don't know um but it's like it's like making it seem like prime luffy right now in the current story could just walk up here like I'm saying, you know, Whitebeard, unless Whitebeard gets serious, you know, right? He turns on his hockey, which I'm assuming he has. Who knows what level it is? If the levels even matters. I know, you know, Conqueror's hockey is rare, but does it make it like the ultimate hockey? I don't know. I would assume. But let's say he activates his hockey. He just starts running around, quaking the shit out of everything. Quake, quake, quake. Like, pop, pop, pop. Like, he gets serious. I think he just ends up getting cut down. Like, there's just too much. And I say that to say, like, I don't even know if current timeline Luffy could run through this solo. Like, I'm being dead ass, and I don't even know what Luffy's accomplished at this point. Maybe he's turned into something that, like, Naruto and Sasuke turn into at the end of, like, the Naruto story to where, like, they can just nuke battlefields. Like, literally, they're just walking around gods that can just nuke mountains and, you know, perfected susanos like madara that one strike of their blade could literally just clear out thousands i don't know if luffy gets to that point but i don't think i don't there hasn't been anything to show that like someone's going to be a planet buster in this story you know but i don't even think current luffy with masters if if this is current luffy and what that even means a mastered conquerors hockey in gear 78 could sit here and run through cannon fire uh commanders vice admirals admirals mihawk and other warlords that would choose to fight through and anything all the other uh kuma clones and whatever else uh, fleet admiral goku might have up his sleeve i don't even think one person in this entire story could walk through all that now or later maybe i'm underestimating what luffy turns into maybe he does turn into like a planet buster um so it might be blasphemous to say this when we get caught up in like five years from now but i just don't see how this gets better at all because i don't think even if whitebeard decided to get serious could he just like start clearing the battle yeah he could clear the fodder but if like kazaru and okaji run up on him at the same time and the other one and mihawk decides to get in there again it's like what are we What's the play? And they're shooting you with cannon fire, and you've got the Kuma, the real Kuma on you, and the other Kuma's coming in the back. I just don't see it, and I don't see... It would have to be a crazy cavalry response to help balance some of this out, and I don't know who those people are. Again, there might be characters that we've been yet to introduce to. Maybe we'll get a crazy fishman army or something. Um, it was odd how Kuma went down, was it not? I mean, not Kuma. Um, Jinbei went down, no? He gets, like, one-tapped. We see him, like, falling down into the abyss of the ocean, right? <laughs> and then, fast forward, like, a couple scenes later, he's, like, halfway out of the water, sitting on the ice. He's like, okay, good. Luffy made it. What? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> you, did you? Then there's nothing else follow up with that? He just got knocked out, and then we just loop back around? Same thing with the Moria. It looked like Jinbei had, like, put him down. Seriously, like, if not killed him, because we don't really do that in this story. But, like, seriously injured him. And then here, he's just laughing at the top of his lungs, hanging out. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. It's, regardless, I didn't think it was going to look good a couple months ago. I didn't think it was going to look good about two weeks ago. And I don't think it's looking any better. If not, it's worse now 
for Whitebeard in this war, supposedly that he'd be able to go toe to toe with. So I don't know. We'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. A like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, 